Moving on in the next video, Ambassador, I'd like to ask your views that uh, China is now accepted, uh, at least in India, as a major challenge to India, especially for its uh, foreign security and uh, economic interests, which uh, often clash or are at variance with Indian views and interests. What would you like to say in that regard? Well, first of all, I'll make a small amendment. Yes. China is not a, uh, not a challenge. Yes. China is a threat. Right. China is often described as a partner. Okay. China is actually enemy in many respects. So we have to look at China in a different way than we did in the past. And uh, you underline the word that it's a threat yes. and not a challenge. Yeah. yeah, a challenge is what comes yes. before threat. Yes. But we have crossed the challenge phase. And we are now facing a threat. Okay. And uh, I will give you yes. the reasons why I think China is more a threat than a challenge, challenge because we are past yes. that. Okay. Now, I am um, saying that for all the three reasons that you have mentioned, the Chinese have become an active threat bordering on being enemies. Let's look at the diplomatic front first, which is actually the least yes. of our problems. But when India is coming up as a global power, the Chinese are doing their best to suppress India's role in the world. The uh, restructuring of the UN Security Council is under discussion. It requires the consent of uh, four of the five members. Four members have endorsed India very strongly. The one that is holding it up is China. It does not want to become a member of the Security Council. It does not want India to become part of any high profile group in the world. The nuclear suppliers group is very important for us, for our nuclear energy program. But no. Chinese have a veto. They have held us back. We are not, they are not allowing us. So everywhere where there is uh, uh, the Chinese presence on the international stage, it's a kind a of stumbling hostile, block or an hostile, obstacle. Hostile yes. against India. Hostile to okay. India's interests, right. Now, more important than that is security. The Chinese from the beginning have threatened India's security and territorial integrity. And we have sort of downplayed it. Yes. Okay. Now, under the mask of friendship, the uh, Chinese have been intruding into our border and actually uh, uh, invaded India in 1962 as, as a show of force. And so, while masterfully proclaiming friendship and carrying on negotiations with India on the border, they have been making themselves stronger and stronger and thwarting everything that India is trying to do, including the stability of the 4,000 kilometer border which we have with China called the LAC. And now on the economic front, it's not so obvious, but China has weaponized trade. China has encouraged uh, imports from China, which is at a massively high level and yet does not allow Indian products to have access to Chinese markets uh, under what we call non-tariff barriers. These are manipulations so that Indian goods will not come in. So the only Indian goods they are accepting are raw materials virtually. Why, whereas we are getting the bulk yes. of our imports as manufactured products. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the trade deficit should worry us because uh, out of a total trade of $120 billion, the Chinese have a surplus of $75 billion. That's what we are paying them uh, as a part of the trade. And so, they have acquired a kind of uh, uh, dependency from India on China, which they can easily convert into, into weaponry. This is what is called weaponizing the economic relationship. 
consider the fact that important sectors of our economy, the uh, pharmaceutical sector, which is a major sector of our imports, 70% of the what is called uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients, the API, come from China. Almost 50% uh, of the uh, auto components for our auto industry comes from China. Uh, every other uh, smartphone that Indians use comes from China. So the China can easily put a stranglehold on the Indian economy, which is as threatening to us as what they're doing on the line of actual control. So on all these three yeah. counts, I maintain that it is way beyond challenge, it's a threat, and perhaps we should look at China as an enemy. Right.